All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, making our way through one of the marathon tastings of this year. Thanks to Cynthia, our new host, our, our new uh, sales rep from the Artisan Wine Portfolio from Southern Wine and Spirits, the newest portfolio they've added to the lineup of this mega distributor now has 80% of the brands on earth including some of the best grower producers, champagnes from Skernick, like this Pierre Peters, this Blanc de Blanc. Wow. Let me tell you, man, for an entry-level cuvee, which nothing from this producer is entry-level, Pierre Peters is considered one of the greatest of the grower producers today. This wine's got a beautiful bouquet, fresh apple and lemon drop candy, citrus fruit, nice toasty yeasty notes coming out, a little seashell-like minerality, that floor-like sherry quality even on the nose there. Wonderful intensity on the tongue here. This wine just oozing with tree fruit, smooth and creamy texture, a healthy dose of minerality, a long finish. This is Pierre Peter's calling card to me, one of the best Blanc de Blancs in the business. Most excellent juice at $67.50. All right, well, Pierre Jimenez Extra Brut up next. This is uh, the Brut Enophile Cuvée. This one's a really light bouquet with quince and ginger spice, hints of toasted brioche and lime citrus. White floral quality to the finish here with a light, fine, creamy mousse. This one's got a firm hand of acidity and that lovely chalky mineral a nice intensity to the finish. Uh, excellent juice. The Pierre Jimenez Special Club. These are the wines that this group of small growers that banded together in the early 70s to compete with the Tete de Cuvées created all in the same style bottle. And some of them aged up to 84 months. This one aged for 70 months on the lees. And um, some of the vines in this village in Cremat up to 100 years old. Wow. Uh, this wine's got a lovely brioche toasty kind of note to the nose. Lemon drop candy green apple jolly rancher really wonderful richness to the palate here that's what you get from that extended lees aging a long creamy finish chalky minerally notes almond and ginger spice white flowers very long very nice zesty citrus quality to the finish killer juice at $95 still under a hundred bucks amazing value you get from the special club above all right the Gaston Chiquet Tradition this is from the Valley of the Marne from uh, Chardonnay vines planted in 1965 one of the last growers and uh, that has Chardonnay there uh, vanilla cream like you know, donut character to the nose here chalky minerally high nights tree fruit apricots quince smooth and creamy mousse on the tongue this wine is fine and elegant a nice uh, candy ginger and vanilla spice note lasting through the finish as well as that chalky minerality at 55.50 the Gaston Chiquet Rosé uh, it's got a light red berry fruit to the nose, rose petals, hints of spice and like smoky character, uh, mostly Pinot Meunier. It's got a light copper color to it, really nice creamy texture on the tongue, that raspberry and strawberry fruit, and that nice smoky character lasting through the finish, that textbook seashell minerality. Excellent juice at $57. Great little value in a rosé. Then the Charlotte Talley Champagne, St. Anne, another small grower, and um, this is a single vineyard wine, and... Uh, this is, um, I mean, a really nice uh, vineyard right in the Mar Montan de Rems, and uh, they call it a beach. And this is Sardinia and Pinot Noir. A good amount of zesty lemon, citrus fruit, pineapple, white flowers, a little briny, minerally nuanced herbs and spice here on the nose as well. A very nice intensity to the palate here. That briny quality, those herbs and spice, and a little mouth puckering character to the finish at 50, 75. Then on to the Champagne Aubrey Premier Cru. Uh, this is located high in the Mountain de Rems. And uh, they use some older champagne grapes here, Petite Meslier, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris. And uh, there's seven, actually, not just three that most people consider. So these guys use some of the ancient varietals here. This wine's got a light bouquet, fresh apple and pear fruit, uh, citrus, a little smoky note coming out as this wine opens up, bright and fresh on the tongue. The nice uh, lime citrus kind of quality, bitter almond to the to the finish, and that little smoky character. Uh, nice chalky minerally notes, excellent juice at 47.75. And then the nombre which a uh, good amount of a nutty character to this bouquet and uh, wow this is a well endowed kind of baked apple pie character good amount of seashell minerality coming out on the finish that apple and lemon citrus fruit and a little hazelnut character as well excellent juice at 62.75 and that is what we had to drink with the grower producers with Cynthia I'm your host Andrew Lampasoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first